Hello YouTube, my name is Ben, I'm 17, and I'm here to pitch an experiment to either support or discredit the panspermia hypothesis. So what is panspermia? Panspermia is the idea that life is not confined to Earth, but rather exists throughout the universe, and is distributed by meteoroids and asteroids. Now for a sterile planet to be seeded with life in this way, we need only two things. A method of matter transfer between the first planet and the second, and a form of life capable of surviving the trip. Now the first one we've already demonstrated is possible and in fact we found meteorites from the surface of Mars here on Earth. My experiment hopes to show that in principle it is possible for bacteria to survive on the outside of the ISS for 20 days, during which time they will have been exposed to ionizing radiation and temperatures ranging from minus 120 to plus 150, while in a vacuum in microgravity. So has anything like this been done before? Well, kind of. There is some evidence that suggests that the bacterium Streptococcus mitis survive inside the camera of the Surveyor 3 spacecraft when it was brought back from the moon by Apollo 12. There's also the Expose R experiment which analysed samples of Bacillus subtilis kept on the outside of the ISS for their survival rate and DNA damage. But that worked on a single species under multiple conditions. In my experiment I hope to use multiple species under the same conditions to determine how very different clades of life on Earth react. I would use six species and they would be these guys. Now my experiment is simple. Each of the six species shall be cultured in separate heat resistant petri dishes and placed in a standard 10 cm ISS experiment pallet. The next time a spacewalk is required, it would be installed outside the station and left there for 20 days before being brought back inside and returned to ambient temperature. All that remains then is to photograph the dishes at 0, 24 and 48 hours to determine if there has been any subsequent growth, indicating the survival of at least part of the population. Now if any of them survive, I predict it will be the Dinococcus, but far more interesting will be what happens to the Tardigrade. It is by far the most complex life form and could potentially show that even small animals may be capable of surviving in space. Thanks for watching.